Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we're gonna be testing out the Jacqueline Hill highlighters. As you fucking beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any shit talk you may have to say, take that elsewhere because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you, goddammit. So, how is everyone? I am just getting back into the country. Actually, that's a lie. Last night, I got back into the country, and then a half an hour later, there was a big Christmas party at my house. I didn't end up going to bed till like three or four in the morning. I'm just waking up. I have a bad ear infection, so I sound like I have the sniffles, but I'm not sick. It's just all the drainage and that deliciousness. And speaking of highlighters, today is actually a very important day for me. I am sending my highlighters over to Italy to be assessed and deconstructed, and I'm seeing if maybe they can be my new manufacturer so please keep your fingers crossed for me send good vibes my way oh my god my face is still so swollen and I think I need a haircut the moment my hair starts going out of the frame that's when I know it's too long and we are there but yes I hope wherever the fuck you're at in the world whether it's warm or cold you are just living your best life enjoying every moment of your existence and spreading so much love but let's move on to the actual fucking product shall we I ordered three of the products. I didn't get the brushes because honestly, I do not need another fucking brush in my life. The day that I order more brushes is the day y'all need to put me in the fucking loony bin. Like, here, the, I do, they, these are not them. These are the brushes that I travel with. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of those bags. I do not need any more brushes. So I didn't order those. Oh God, and there's a whole nother thing in my thing. Oh God, there's so many of them. So I didn't get them. Ugh. <sighs> what I did get was the Accent Light Highlighter Palette. Is that what that's called? Highlighter? What? I got the darker one. This is the flare. I wanted the lighter one. It was in my cart, and as I was about to check out, they took it out of my cart. They stole it from me, and now I'm stuck with this dark one, and none of them are probably going to work for me. So we'll touch it, play with it. I may end up sticking my painty in it later. We'll see. No, I'm just kidding. But because this is too dark for me, after I do the swatches, I am going to be doing a giveaway with this. If you don't mind that I did lightly swatch it, please go ahead and enter the giveaway. The only requirement is that you are subscribed to this channel. There'll be a lot of other things that you can do. They're not required, but the more that you do, the more chances you have of winning. Good luck to everyone. It's a worldwide giveaway like usual. Just make sure you're either 18 or have your parents' consent. Good luck to everyone. Anyways, I also got, what is this? Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in high volt. I hope it's not that color because that's way too fucking dark for me. And then, oh my god, excuse me. And then the Luminous Powder in Brighten Up, which this retails for 32. The Beaming Loose Highlighter retails for 24. And then this beast of a bitch retails for 49 fucking dollars. Holy god. I think that makes some what, like 12... 50-ish per one, which actually isn't a lot for highlighter. That's like a drugstore price, but $50, that just... That seems like a lot to me, but this does also feel like pretty good quality. Like she's heavy, she likes the pizza, and she doesn't care. And I do have to say, I think I really like this packaging. I don't like this part. It seems very, like, Italian, kind of like this would be a cream. Like I would get an expensive cream and this is what it would look like. Kind of like a pyramid scheme cream. This, this looks like that. And the same for the little one. Like this would be a $90 eye cream that just has coconut oil in it. Yet all the rich bitch Beverly Hills hoes would buy it and rub it on their vag and think that it would do something. This... I don't think I like this because the it, it I don't know it just looks cheesy to me for some reason I I kind of wish that it didn't have these lines but packaging does not matter I'm gonna end up throwing the packaging out anyways or including it in the giveaway in this case and it looks like this does have dimethicone in it so it's probably gonna be really smooth but if you have a silicone allergy stay the fuck away from this but this guy is available in two shades this is available in five shades and then this low guy is also available in five shades so let's open these and see what we're working with. Here we go. Ooh, very nice packaging. It has a nice protector in there, so it doesn't just fly out. Very, very nice. Oh, God, what is happening? All right, so there's a little card. It says, you're looking at an original. Our accent light highlighters are made using a proprietary filling process that creates unique, one-of-a-kind patterns in every pan. This is no ordinary highlighter. I... That, mm, I don't know if these are baked, but pretty much every kind of baked highlighter has that little weird thing in it, so I'm just gonna call bullshit right now. I'm not a hater of Jaclyn, like, I'm rooting for you, honey, but, like, here, let me grab a baked, what, a baked blush? Do I have any baked highlighters? Okay, I don't have any baked highlighters, but here's, like, a baked bronzer. They all kind of have that. That's a very, very trademark thing for baked things to have, so... 
I don't quite understand what she means where it's unique. That doesn't make sense. Here we have the inside. It comes in this nice little watch box, I want to say. Something that you'd put maybe like a piece of jewelry in for your mom for Mother's Day. That's cute. And then here's the actual palette. There's a lot of dust in here. I, I'm kind of, I, I don't know if you can see that. Can we see all the dust? That is weird. I have never, ever seen that. That kind of scares me. I hope one of these haven't broken. But it actually does not look at all like pigment. It just looks like fiber. So I don't know if she's still fulfilling these with the... Oh, look, there's my camera. If she's still fulfilling these with the fiber gloves, you can see that, right? I've never seen anything like that. Like, I've never gotten a dusty product other than her lipsticks. Which we won't even talk about, though. She has rebranded herself. I'm happy for her. Why is there a big old chip missing out of my thing right there? Anyways, who cares? This, this feels okay quality. I think it's acrylic. The heaviness comes from this top part, definitely. I think it's really, really pretty. It would be beautiful to display on the shelf. Let's open it, and here we go. <gasps> Those actually are very, very pretty. It doesn't scream to me like luxury, like a $50 thing would, but they're definitely pretty. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about with those swirls. There are not swirls. I guess on camera, in this one, I kind of see swirls, but I do not see that in person. I don't know what the difference is between my eyes and the lens, but I do not see any swirling in person. It looks more like somebody touched it. It's just, that's weird. Um, okay, it's still really pretty. We have a lovely, big, nice quality, crystal clear mirror. Cute packaging right there. That is gonna be dirty as shit in a little bit, but it's still really, really pretty. And if that mirror breaks, I guess you have another one on the back. I really like this packaging. I think it's cute, even if she's dusty. Reminds me of my nether regions. The bitch has some cobwebs. Anyways, let's move on to, what is this one? Loose highlighter. Okay, I am not going to be biased here because there are a few loose highlighters that I really like, but for the most part, I am not a loose highlighter fan. I know that some people really, really like them. They prefer them over pressed ones. I'm not that kind of person. They're just really messy. Once again, this is really dusty too. I don't know if you can see the clump of dust that's right there on the top if my fucking camera will focus. There we go. Do you see how dirty that is? I, I... I don't know why that... Yeah, it's definitely dust because I just wiped it away and now it's gone. Focus. See that? It's just... It's weird. I don't know if they stored the components for a while, kind of like what I'm assuming they did with the lipsticks and they just collected dust. That's, that's odd to me. And this actually doesn't feel... It feels very cheap. Like it's acrylic. I was kind of hoping it's glass. It, it, it doesn't look cheap, I don't think. It looks very, very pretty. It's very on brand. It looks bougie. But there's a lot to be desired with weight. Like, a lot of times, weight is what sells products. Like, they pick up a palette, and they're like, oh, this has some good weight to it, and they're sold. I don't know why that is. It's totally a psychological thing. And this... If I picked this up in like Altair Sephora, I would probably put it back down after seeing the price tag. If it were glass, the price to me would be justified. But even like the logo on here, it's a little smudged. It's just, it's dusty. But the product itself could be amazing. Let's open this up. I'm not yet gonna swatch it. I just wanna prepare, but that's what it looks like. If you can see that, it's very, very pretty. And then lastly, we have, I think this is the all over powder. I did an imbibed reaction video to her launch. And because I was a little bit loopy, I don't really remember most of the videos. So this is all new to me, but I do remember her saying, I think she put this all over her face and she looked like she just had a really long lay session or she just ran that glow from within thing to me wasn't what she had she just looked wet and that's not what i want but i have seen a lot of people use this and they do give that glow from within most of the people that i've seen have darker like medium to dark skin tones and i think it looks so beautiful on them so i don't know if the more fair people can rock this as well as the deeper skin people i I have a little bit of a tan right now because I was just in the Caribbean, and so maybe I'll be able to rock it, but I personally am not one of those glow from within kind of people. It just makes me look sweaty and greasy and oily, and I'm not down for that. But we will still try this. This too has a nice protector. Yay for safety seals. Oh, what the hell? How am I gonna get this off now? Oh, God damn. But I am just seeing that 
fucker. And I actually don't mind the component on this one because it's so big. I feel like glass probably would have been a bit too heavy, especially if you're going to travel with it. And so I kind of understand why she did the acrylic and that makes more sense. I just, I wish it felt a little bit more luxury somehow. I mean, it's great looking by itself. It just doesn't feel luxury. So I'm very excited to swatch these. I don't know that I'm going to end up doing like a full glam look today. I might just do like my normal boy makeup and wear this throughout the day and check in with you later. Are they revolutionary colors? No, not at all. But I think they are very, very user-friendly colors. I think they're very, very safe colors. And at this point, that's kind of what Jacqueline needs to rebrand her brand. But like I said, let's go ahead and swatch and do a little kind of look with these. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatch and ha 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 Oh my god, I feel like fucking Ozzy Osbourne. Like, once I start singing, it sounds perfectly fine. Woohoo! So, normally I would hold my arm up and we'd zoom in on the swatches, but let's actually go in and do live swatches. So, let's feel this. I'm so excited because I do remember in the video that she really, really fucking went in and I was like, girl, why? Like, if it's a good highlighter, you do not need to rub it like a fucking badge. Like, you should be able to just go in there with one swipe, do that, and have it be great. So, that's all I'm gonna do. Let's go in with Glow Up. I'm going in with one swipe. See, you get a lot of pigment there. She did not need to dig her hands in like she did. So there is that. It's definitely not a bad highlighter. I think it's very, very smooth. You can totally feel the dimethicone in there. That's kind of what a lot of brands will use to give a smooth feeling. Even if the product isn't necessarily the best, the dimethicone will trick you into thinking it is so high quality. And I don't want to say that's what she did here, but it's... It's not the best, at least from one swipe. So let me go in kind of like how she did. She went in like that. And there you get serious fucking pigment. Look at that. That is stunning. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go over it just like that. <sighs> Ooh, she a chunky monkey. It's still all over my finger. Maybe if I kind of rub it in. There we go. I think that is very, very beautiful to swatch with. Hopefully you can see that. It is very, very pretty. A lot is still left on my finger. That is a total fucking waste. But at least we have confirmation that no, you don't have to dig the fuck in there like she did. You can just do one swipe and you will have beautiful pigmentation. So there's the first one. Let's go in with the second. We have made you look and I'm just going to go in lightly with that. I know she was saying that these feel really, really different than most. Wait, do these, do these smell like vanilla? I just smelled a whiff of vanilla. Where? Oh, no. It's almost like a chocolate palette, like the chocolate bonbon palette. And it comes and goes. It's like my fucking libido. Okay, so here is Made You Look. I'm just going to put that right there next to it. And I'm going to push kind of hard because it's a little bit flaky, but it still goes on smoothly. That is beautiful. That is really, really pretty. Like, I have no complaints about that. Again, this is swatching. It could be totally different on a brush. It could go flying. None could pick up on the brush. So, first swatches, I think it's good. It kind of melts into the skin, especially when you rub it back and forth. And then let's go in with Hexposure. See, if this were my brand, I would have called it Sexposure. <laughs> but it's not my brand. So, here we have that. Once again, very, very smooth. She's flaky, so I'm going to go back and forth. Very, very pigmented, excellent quality. I'm really, really liking this, and I'm really fucking sad that I wasn't able to get the lighter one because I probably would have used the shit out of that. I don't know that I would have traveled with it because this beast is really heavy, but at least I would have probably used it way more than I ever would have used this one. But at the same time, I'm not mad because now I get to give it to one of you. So here is Turned On. So pretty. I love it. There we go. It's a beautiful kind of coppery bronzy. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know, though, how deep of a skin tone you could really rock this with. I don't know if Nima Tang has reviewed this, but I don't know that any of these would really work for her. Let me quick look and see if she has reviewed it. No, I don't think she has, at least not yet. I'm not sure if she will, but... That, it's just, um, mm, I, oh, I don't know. I feel like she could have gone a little bit deeper. Are these still beautiful? Absolutely, but that's kind of the downfall of coming out with palettes like this. They're not very inclusive. Like me, I'm only going to be able to use that one. I think that one will be perfect. I might actually be able to get away with this more yellowy one. Maybe not because I'm not a yellow toned person, but this one I know I will. So I'm glad she included like medium skin tones, but 
To me, it it could have gone a lot darker. I kind of wish she would have came out with maybe three palettes, one for light, medium, and deep. Now let's go, oh my God. <gasps> Bitch, look at that shit. Oh, I just washed these pants. <sighs> oh, it just blew off, so that's kind of hopeful. It's like $8 worth of product, but here we have the little pipsqueak one. Let me give it a shake so some product goes up in there. Now it's probably going to go everywhere. No, it's not that bad. Usually what I'll do is take product out of the cap and use that. This is going to be way too dark for me. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. Okay, so here, let me take a little bit more on my finger. It's loose. I, I don't love loose, but we will still try it. It's looser than my college roommate's hole. All right, so there is that. Very, very pretty. I actually think this is going to be perfect for my skin tone. Oh God, there's still so much left. But even though I'm not gonna keep the other palette, I will probably use the shit out of this. I, I really like this. It's very reminiscent of like the Juvia's Place loose highlighters. Do I have those here somewhere? Yes, right here, which I'm not throwing any shade, but I know that not everybody is gonna be able to afford the Jaclyn Hill ones. And so if you want, I don't know that it's necessarily a dupe, but if you want a good loose highlighter, I definitely recommend Juvia's Place. I don't have a code. I'm not an affiliate with them, at least not yet. Who knows what could happen? I'm sure this is as well, but you definitely have to have something for it to stick to because even just sitting on my hand, it's blowing everywhere. Versus the pressed ones, those you probably don't need to put a primer down. You could probably just wear them alone on your dry skin and they probably last throughout the day. This, I'm not so sure that it would, but look, I, oh, fuck me, that's pretty. So last up, I'm not gonna drop this. We have the illuminating powder and I'm I'm confused about this it's not a highlighter it's just a powder that has some kind of pearlescence to it it's it's that right there I think on camera it might look like it has some kind of reflection but it's just because it's so light it just feels like a setting powder and I do remember in her video when she swatched this it looked nasty nasty I think my reaction was literally like what the hell but let's go ahead and try and swatch this. Ugh, that doesn't feel good. And as it's going on, maybe the oils of my palm, it's turning different colors. I don't know if you can see how dark it looks in certain spots. Hold on, let me zoom in. Are you able to see that without it being like blown out from my lights? But there's just, it's, it's reacting weird. There's two different colors there, and I did not think my palm was wet or anything. I, I don't think it is. Pretty sure I scraped all the lube from earlier off there. But as I'm turning my hand, I do see a little bit of luminescence with it, so I'm gonna have to really look and see exactly how you're supposed to use this powder, because I don't get it. Is it a setting powder? Is it like an all over the face powder? I don't know. I guess now's probably a great chance to look that up. Oh God, her website's fucked up right now and it's not letting me see the words. Get your shit together, girl. What the hell? This is so weird. Her pictures are covering up the description. And so I can't read half the description. Delivers a radiant finish. Use it as a finishing powder all over the face to get that lit from with, that's all it says. Or apply to targeted areas for a soft highlighter. That's interesting because, especially because it changes colors with moisture, I wouldn't want to set it over a wet foundation or a wet concealer because it just, it seems like it might be a little bit of a finicky product, but we'll still use it. I'm not gonna give up hope on any of this. I think they're all probably gonna be really, really pretty, but before I put on any makeup on my face, let's go ahead and try these highlighters. I have nothing on except for I think I put on a little bit of face moisturizer, but it's pretty much sunk in now. So there's a little bit for this to stick to, but I just want to see how it goes over bare skin. Let's go in with Glow Up. It looks like a good bit goes on the brush. Let's try it right here. <gasps> oh, that makes me happy. That is so fucking pretty. And it is pretty much perfect for my skin tone. When I look forward, it's not too light. It's not too dark. You can kind of see it, but I think with my tan right now, it blends in magnificently. I only just lightly dust it in with a brush. Oh, oh it's, ew, it kind of makes my skin look really, really dry at the same time for some reason. But unless you're like really fucking close up, it doesn't look bad. Even just on its own, it seems like it would last, like it is kind of sticking to my skin. No, actually it's wiping away. It's all on my fingers. So 
maybe with just a primer, maybe with a more damp moisturizer, this would probably stick into place or maybe even setting it with a setting spray. But still, oh, I think that is so fucking pretty. We'll color switch this brush so that nothing is left on it. And I guess let's try Magia Look. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be way too deep for me. Again, a good amount went on. There's not a lot of kickback. It still basically looks brand new other than, what did I do there? Did I scratch that already somehow? I don't fucking know. But here we go in with Magia Look. <gasps> That actually might be okay as well. That one isn't as blinding. It's very, very gold. Kind of looks like somebody peed on me, but still, it's very pretty. Let me apply a little bit more so you can get a better view. That is pretty. Can you even see it? You can kind of see it there, right? I don't know. It just, it isn't as blinding as the other one, and it might just be because of my skin tone. Still very pretty, but not at all it's not for me. And exposure, which that one is also going to be too deep for me, I'm sure. Here we go with that. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is mm, not for me. Can you even see that? Fuck. I swear they are there, but because they're not my skin color, they just don't look that great. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, what do we think? I think the quality is fine. Again, I smell chocolate. Is it this? Oh, you know what I'm smelling? I'm smelling my setting spray. Fuck me. God damn, sometimes I even wonder how I'm allowed in public. And then the last one, we have this beautiful bronzy kind of rose toned. A lot goes on the brush. There's not a lot of kickback. Here we go with that. Once again, not at all my color. That looks terrible on my skin, but it has kind of like a gold to rosy shift. I didn't think any of these had a shift, but this one does. This would look beautiful on deeper skin tones. I think that if you have the skin type to rock this, definitely do because it's gorgeous. We don't know how it wears though throughout the day. It could fall off in an hour. So don't put it in your checkout cart yet. Let's get to the end of the review and see how she goes. And then let's go in with the loose highlighter. Oh God. Oh, this scares me. I don't, that's a lot. There really isn't much for this to stick to. So I don't have extremely high hopes for this, but it's going on. It looks really, really chunky on my skin. I don't know that that's registering on camera, but in person, it is accentuating every dry spot. I didn't even know my skin was dry because I just put moisturizer on. Apparently it is because that looks like the fucking desert floor right there. I'm not sure if maybe you applied this even with like a damp sponge. That might be good. Put it over a balm. Actually, let me take some lip chap. Let's put it right there. This is actually something when I'm not wanting to wear a whole lot of makeup, but I want a nice little glow. This is what I'll do. So let me take a little bit more on the brush and let's apply it over here. Now that it has, a <laughs> now that it has something to stick to. Oh, yes, that is gorgeous, but once again, it is really, for some reason, accentuating every single thing that I apparently have wrong with my skin that I never knew. It looks dry, it looks textured, it looks cakey. I don't love the loose highlighter. I don't know what the difference is. On camera, she might look okay, so maybe we'll keep it just for filming, but so far on bare skin, it's not for me. Last and probably least, no, I'm just kidding. Last but not least, we have this finishing powder. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and apply it right there and kind of rub it in and see exactly what it does. It's very, very smooth. It feels like a nice quality setting powder, kind of like a Laura Mercier or the 100% Pure that I love. It doesn't really have any illuminating pearls in it to me maybe a little bit it just kind of feels like i put baby powder on my face i actually know i do see a little bit of illumination there just kind of like a glow from within i'm not mad at that but i don't know that i would use it because as it's on my face i can kind of see a little bit of like a white hue from it i don't know if you can see that but all I see in certain light is kind of like titanium dioxide when it's in foundation and you have that flashback, except it's always there. 
I don't know that I love that. I'm the kind of person that if I want a little bit of a glow from within, I'll add a little bit of highlighter to my foundation or my primer, and that gives the same exact effect. But that's just me. People want shit that's accessible and easily accessible, so I get it. Let's go ahead and hop into a very, very, very miniature look. Normally, I would go in with just my face cream, but because I really do want this to last and I'm not going to be putting on foundation and shit for this to stick to, I want an actual primer. So let's go in with this. God, it looks like a pink load in the hand. I am going to be wearing concealer today, and I'm not sure. Do I use that powder as a setting powder or do I use normal setting powder? They say a finishing powder all over the face. I really don't want my under eyes to be glowing because then even if I have concealer on and I add something that has shimmer underneath my eyes, you can still see all of the lines. I mean, my face is so fucking puffy right now and swollen. So this part isn't as bad as it normally is, but still, I don't like to add shimmers under there. So why don't I go ahead and use the Laura Mercier under there and then all over the rest of my face, we can use the Glow From Within powder. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with this It Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm actually doing a full review on this and today is the last day of the wear time test. So let's Let's go in with that. And I realize this concealer is way too fucking light for me, but the bitch is gonna be bronzing up, so hopefully that'll help kind of tone this shit down. I wanna make sure to drag a bit of this out under the cheeks so that it really does have something to stick to. I really do love this mirror on here. Like, this is good quality. Even if this is very reminiscent of a Becca palette, I still appreciate that it's good quality. And we'll go ahead and set under the eyes with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. We'll just press that right into there so we don't become a creasy bitch. And that way we can just be a normal plain bitch. And I'm gonna avoid setting the rest of my face just so that that powder is something to stick to. Maybe I'll put a little bit up there so that doesn't crease on my forehead or ankles. And now I guess we'll go in with the all over the face powder. Oh, here we go. We'll go up here. Oh my God. That is, ah, it's catching absolutely everywhere and turning my face extremely light. Oh God, and my face is peeling from my sunburn too. This is totally not helping because it's accentuating all the little peels. Oh God, wow. Does that ever make me look fucking ashy? I don't know how it's registering on camera, but in person, I look like I've got the fucking flu or I'm on my deathbed, or I was at a celebrity's party and got dunked into a vat of Coke. I don't know. It just is very, I don't want to say talky because I don't even know that there's talc in this, but it has a white hue to it. And I feel like it shouldn't because that's not too much lighter than my actual skin, is it? But there we have it. I, I don't know what to say. I didn't, it, mm? It's like it set my face, yet I still look oily. Oh my God, that peeling is so bad though. I am so sorry, how embarrassing. <laughs> but you can see in the light, like on my forehead, that it definitely did add some kind of illumination. But to me, in person, it didn't add enough to like justify the price. Maybe I need to go in with a little bit more. Maybe you need this over like an actual foundation so it has a lot to stick to, but that primer was still pretty tacky. It should be sticking. I don't think it looks bad. I just don't know that it has a point in my life that I would really need it. It did though do a nice job at making my skin look a little bit smoother, a little bit more even without having to put a lot of product on. I mean, I did put concealer on and everything, but it did a good job at kind of giving an airbrushed effect. But for $32, my God, this shit needs to teabag me and take me to the fucking movies. Let's move on to the actual highlighter. Before I go in with the highlighter though, I am gonna contour and bronze up a little bit. So I'm gonna dip into this NYX. This is the product that I always use. Then over that, we'll bounce in some Laura Mercier bronzer. And then normally at this point, I would go in with a baked blush, but that baked blush is also kind of a highlighter, and that would kind of be unfair to use with this because it would help add a glow, and now that I really look at myself, especially in the monitor, I do have a nice little glow, even though I didn't add any highlighter. Once I have all the highlighter and everything on, I will definitely turn out some of these lights so you can see more like what I'm seeing. So on this side for highlighter, why don't I go in with Glow Up? We'll dip into there a few times. That is so pretty, and oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Ready? Uh, oh, 
That is so gorgeous. And with highlighter now, I kind of take it all over the eyes. If you have hooded eyes, you really shouldn't do that because it's gonna accentuate the hood. But I bring it all over the eyelid from lid to brow and make sure to get it on the inner corner and kind of do like a C motion with it. Okay, that's with two coats. Let's go in for a third to see how blinding we can get this. I like that you can be on the more subtle side with this or you can make it really, really glow. And this pressed one to me does not look cakey at all. It is accentuating things because any highlighter really will accentuate any marks that are there. At least most of them do. But I think this looks so pretty, as natural as it could possibly be as a blinding highlighter. It goes with my skin tone perfectly. You can't see it when you look forward. It's very inconspicuous. And then when the light hits it, it's like, bam, bitch. I think, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. It's really, really pretty in person. And on the other side, we're going in with that loose... <gasps> That loose highlighter, now that it has something to stick to, and I'm gonna do the same where I put it all over the eye from lid to brow and do the C motion. That is beautiful, but once again, it's really accentuating things that I don't want accentuated, and it's not because it's a highlighter, it's because it's kind of a chunkier formula. Without it being pressed, I don't think it has the same liquids as the other one does in it, so it just doesn't glide on as well. At least not on my skin. Let me kind of tap it in. Maybe that'll help. No, it still looks really, really chunky. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it certainly is not as pretty as this side. At least not in person. Do I think it's a bad highlighter? No, but I don't think it's something that I would probably ever reach for again. Maybe if I were to put it over like a glitter glue or a tacky concealer on my eyes, it would probably be really, really pretty there. But on the face... It's really not my cup of tea, like, at all. Color-wise, though, it's perfect for my skin tone. I think it's great. It's just that little bit of added texture that I'm not fucking around with. And I'm not gonna go in with that blush at all today, so let me quick finish up with eyes. I'll see you in just a second. You know what? Just to add a little bit of color to my face, I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of blush. This is just LA Girls blush. It's kind of like a salmon -y coral color. We'll just tap that right there. And now for a little bit of what I've been smelling, the chocolate setting spray. Let's go into that. Mmm. So here's what we are left with. I actually think that setting spray may have really brought out the shininess to my skin. I'm kind of regretting setting it with this because I don't know if this was what gave me the glow from within look or if Jaclyn's powder did it. I, I don't know. But either way, I am very, very shiny on camera. In person, it's not that bad. I... I don't want to say I look dewy. I think I look oily and greasy and I don't love the look, especially because the shininess really accentuates things that I don't want it to, like my marionette lines. Wow, my face is so swollen. Mm. But let me go ahead and turn off a couple of the lights so we can see this better. All right, there we go. I know it's very, very, very dark. I only have a few lights left on. But here's what we look like. This is more like how I see it in person. It is so fucking shiny. It's very, very, ugh. There's, there's ugh, a lot going on, like on my hands. When I touch my, it's just, ooh, wow. So I suppose if you're on the drier side and you want that glow, this would probably be really good. Or with more mature skin, you might really like this because with glow comes youth, so that might be good too. I think I just look like a fucking grease pit and I wanna like wipe my face with one of those little oil blotting sheets, but it's not oily, it's dry, it's not greasy. It's just very, very shiny. And as I touch my face, the shininess is coming off onto my fingers. It's so weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and wear this throughout the day. We'll see how we look in a few hours. So I'll check back in. I will see you in just a second. And welcome back, you dirty bitches. So it has only been like maybe four hours since I last checked in with you. And I think it actually looks pretty much the same. I've been avoiding touching my face like at all because I knew that when I touched it up here, a lot came off. So I think the highlighter here is really holding up, but I also think that because of these lights, my face looks way shinier than it actually is, which really explains why it looked like Jacqueline smeared Crisco on her cheeks for her video, because when these hit lights like this, this stuff beams like fucking bright, but in normal lighting, like in the daylight or downstairs without like 80 bulbs around me, 
it looks really, really pretty. There's a nice, subtle glow from within kind of thing. I don't look oily. I don't look greasy. My face looks set and matte, but there's still a really nice, subtle glow. And in the normal light, obviously, you can still see the highlighter that's there, but it's also on my cheeks, so it doesn't necessarily accentuate my cheeks and make them look bigger. It just adds a nice, dewy finish. So... I thought that I was actually going to hate the shit out of this because here, to me, it looks really shiny. I look greasy. At least I think I look greasy in my monitor. Maybe it doesn't look as bad as I think it does, but in person, this is great. With photography or video or anything with unnatural lighting, I don't know that I would recommend this. In fact, if you're dealing with photography, I would stay the fuck away from this because your face is gonna end up looking like it was pressed between two sweaty ass cheeks all day and nobody really wants that look. But for normal everyday wear, even for like work, I might be a little bit concerned if you work in fluorescent lights, but for the most part, Oh my God, I just spit so much. Ugh. I think that I actually really like this. Is it something that I'll probably continue using? No, because I only normally wear makeup on camera and I don't want to look like this all the time. But for normal use, if you do want that glow from within kind of thing, I definitely recommend this. So this little guy right here, I hate the shit out of this. I do not like it. I think the color is beautiful, but on my skin, it just looks really, really cakey. And no matter how little I use, it just adds so much texture to my skin that the pressed one does not. And so these, I have no reason to recommend them. Maybe on the eyes, but to me, that's not worth it because there's so many other actual eye products that you could use that look better than this. So for me, these are a no. They might play differently on your skin. You might end up loving them. Oh my God. Ugh. For me, it is a hard pass. I might not even keep this. I don't know. This bitch right here, I actually do really like these. I think the quality is really nice. They're super highly pigmented. Even though we did all the swatches and I really dug in here with my brush, it still looks brand new, does it not? Like, there is very little sign of wear, which kind of makes me think that unlike three of my exes in bed, this would last a long time. Even with the higher price tag, if you can find one that you can use all of the shades in, then I do think it's worth the money for me. I don't think this was at all worth the money because I could only use that shade. And I have a thousand highlighters that are that exact same shade. So I wouldn't really get use out of this. So I'm very, very, very happy to give it away. But is the product good? I do think it is. I think the quality is great. I like the packaging, even with the dust. I mean, I don't like the dust. That's kind of fucking weird, but the dust didn't really hinder it at all. I think it's cute looking. It's got a nice weight to it. The product itself is nice. It's got a good mirror. I don't really have many complaints about this. And best of all, there's no fibers in here. Ooh. So yes, there we go. I am pleasantly surprised. Don't forget about the giveaway. All the details will be down below in the Rapicopter link. Good luck to everyone. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me on line at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.